हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून बच्चों दिस इज डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज योर टीचर इन फिजिक्स अच्छा आज हम एक गर्मा गर्म क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करेंगे मुझ टॉक्स अबाउट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी काइनेटिक एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक कुलूम्स लॉ कुलूम्स लॉ के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है with an interaction between two charges take down the problem two fixed charges a and b hai do charges a and b each 5 micro coulomb hai micro kitna hota hai bachche 10 to the power of minus 6 hota hai micro so five micro coulombs each are separated by a distance of 6 meters so let us say this is a point a This the point B. यहां आपका एक पॉइंट चार्ज फाइव माइक्रो कुलूम्स यहां है और दूसरा पॉइंट चार्ज फाइव माइक्रो कुलूम्स यहां है दर फाइव माइक्रो कुलूम्स इज एट द पॉइंट बी एंड दे बोथ आर सेपरेटेड बाय सिक्स मीटर सिक्स मीटर्स नाउ द सी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस लाइन जॉइनिंग ए एंड बी ए एंड बी को जॉइन करने वाले लाइन का मिड पॉइंट है द सी नाउ यू हैव टेकन ए चार्ज कॉल्ड एस क्यू ऑफ माइनस फाइव माइक्रो कुलूम्स एंड इट इज शॉर्ट परपेंडिकुलर परपेंडिकुलर थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट बिटवीन द लाइन जॉइनिंग ए एंड बी यू हैव शॉर्ट इट थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट and uh, this is being shot with a kinetic energy of how much 0.6 joules if you happen to jump what you will have kinetic energy so kitna kinetic energy ke sath ye jump kiya upar with 0.06 joules now after jumping this charge q comes to rest at the point d at the point d now what the examiner want is what will be this height c to d from c to d what is the uh, distance at which it has come to rest that is a very important question simple hai doctor your all future doctors means you should know how to diagnose the problem right now this electric charge when it is at the point c this minus 5 micro coulombs ka charge when it is at the point c isko thoda kinetic energy hai thoda potential energy hai and uh, from here when it came to this point d once more it has certain potential energy certain amount of kinetic energy now when this charge is at the point c it is under the influence of two other charges what are the two other charges five micro coulomb here five micro coulomb here a positive charge hai five micro coulomb at point a a negative charge hai ye bol raha hai ki idhar aao aur ye five micro coulomb at the point b is telling to this charge at the point c to either out so it is trying to pull it this side and this is trying to pull it that side and that is the reason it gets certain amount of potential energy at the point c after it goes to the point d once more yahan ke 5 micro coulomb bolega are idhar aao na aur yahan ke Five micro coulomb at the point B will say, "Hey, please come here." So it will also have certain amount of potential energy over here also. So the difference in the potential energy at the point C and the point D is equal to the kinetic energy at which it entered. What is the kinetic energy? Zero point zero six joules at which it has entered. That will be the that will be the difference between potential energy here to the potential energy here 
यहां तो ये रेस्ट हो गया इसलिए इसका फाइनेटिक एनर्जी एट दिस पॉइंट इज जीरो बट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट वेन इट हैज गॉन टू दिस पॉइंट देर इज ए चेंज इन दोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यहां कम था it is less here and it has become more when it has gone to the point t and uh, how did it gain that extra potential energy because the kinetic energy at which it has started here added up to that it has added up to that so very simple aap yahan ke potential energy kitna hai calculate karna yahan ke potential energy kitna hai calculate karna at the point d and the potential energy at the point c minus the potential energy at the point d will be equal to the kinetic energy with which it entered that is 0.06 joules now let us look into how to calculate that very very simple first what is the potential energy when it is at the point c obviously the force of attraction between a and c is giving certain potential energy and the force of attraction between the point b and c is giving certain potential energy if you add both of them that will be the potential energy at the point c for this charge minus 5 coulomb charge right so the potential energy at the point c let us call it as u1 That U1 is equal to what did Coulomb based on the Coulomb's law? What did we learn? First, what is the force? One by four pi epsilon. And let us say this charge is Q. This charge is this charge is small Q. Let us say this charge is small Q. This charge is large Q. So Q into Q divided by what is the distance? Distance three meters. So always force is equal to. The electrostatic force is equal to one by four pi epsilon q one q two by r square r square. That's what Coulomb said. Then energy will be force into distance. So that will be equal to one by four pi epsilon q one q two by r square into r and o ho ya. 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q1 q2 by r r r square denominator r is in numerator so when you cut it it become r so this becomes the energy so yahan bhi energy mila unko yahan se bhi energy mila dono ko milna add kare to you get a multiplier 2 Right, so two into one by four pi epsilon small q into large q divided by what is the distance? Three meters. But about three meters. So that is what is the u one. Now, if you look at the electrostatic potential energy at the point D, how much is that electrostatic potential at the point D? obviously when this charge when this capital q this charge reached the point d this uh, small q at a is calling it idravana idravana please come here it is creating certain potential energy similarly this charge small q at the point b also is trying to create certain potential energy For it at the point D. So same way, A to D, B to D, A to D, B to D. Both of them will add up. So multiply is two. So one by four pi epsilon into small q into large q, small q into large q, and यहाँ की distance कितना है? हमको मालूम नहीं. यहाँ की distance है R समझो. So into divided by R divided by R. So U two is equal to one by four pi epsilon Q into Q divided by R into two because you added this equal amount of contribution coming to the potential energy. 
सो दिस एनर्जी डिफरेंस यहां के U1 और U2 दिस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी गिवन टू यू इट इज 0.06 जूल्स इज द काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट व्हिच इट इज टिपिकली um entering this point c is what you have to remember now it is very simple time for doing the calculations calculations u1 minus u2 is equal to is equal to u1 minus u2 is equal to aapko u1 kitna hai u1 kitna 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q into capital Q divided by 3 into 2 and U2 is how much? 1 by 4 pi epsilon small q into capital Q divided by R into 2. So it's where what is common between these two? Between these two U1 and U2, 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q small q into capital Q into 2 is common. Right? So agar wo common le liye to kya ho gaya? What happened if you take both of them into common common uh, value yes now this came to focus so u1 minus u2 is equal to 2 by 4 pi epsilon small q into big q is common into 1 by 3 minus 1 by r so 2 into 1 by 4 pi epsilon kitna hai 9 into 10 to the power of 9 small q is how much 5 micro coulombs large q is also 5 micro coulombs so 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 became 5 square into 10 to the power of minus 12 into 1 by 3 minus 1 by r after you have taken this common right so now you simplify this equation 2 into 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into 5 square into 10 to the power of minus 12 is ko simplify karna hai 2 9 ja 18 18 into 5 square that is 25 you will get finally 0 0.45 this part will be equal to 0 0.45 into 1 by 3 minus 1 by r so this is u1 minus u2 u1 minus u2 is equal to how much 0 0.06 iske pehle humne u1 minus u2 the difference in the potential energy is equal to kinetic energy with which it was passing to the point c right so 0 0.06 is equal to 0 0.45 into 1 by 3 minus 1 by r so 1 by 3 minus 1 by r is equal to 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.45 that is equal to 2 by 15 2 by 15 right so now uh, r is equal to r is equal to 1 by 1 by 3 minus uh, 1 by 3 minus 2 by 15 1 by 3 minus 2 by 15 is ko simplify kareto you get 5 meters so r value agar 5 meters hai to r value if it is 5 meters r value if it is 5 meters a 5 hai this is already 3 and we need to know what is the value from C to D. So how do you get C to D ka value? It is square root of hypotenuse. 5 square minus 3 square. So you get square root of 5 square minus 3 square. So that is equal to 25 minus 16. 25 minus 9. That is equal to square root of 16 is equal to 4 meters. 4 meters is the final value of the distance at which this charge capital Q by the time it reaches the point D uh, it will be around 4 meters becomes the answer. So this is how using the conservation of energy 
यहां के पोटेंशियल एनर्जी यहां जाए तक बढ़ गया एंड दैट इज बिकॉज द इट स्टार्टेड विथ सर्टन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट द पॉइंट सी सो दैट इज द रीजन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट द पॉइंट सी माइनस आई मीन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट द पॉइंट डी माइनस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट द पॉइंट सी इज इक्वल टू द द डिफरेंस इन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी व्हिच एडेड अप ओवर हियर बिकॉज़ बाय द टाइम इट हैज गॉन टू पॉइंट डी इट इज इट हैज कम टू रेस्ट सो यहां के काइनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो हो गया सो दैट इज द रीजन यहां इसको बोथ काइनेटिक एनर्जी है एंड आल्सो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी बोथ द थिंग्स आर देयर एट द पॉइंट सी मगर यहां ये रेस्ट पे आ गया पॉइंट डी पे इसलिए काइनेटिक एनर्जी यहां जीरो है बट यहां देर इज ए इंक्रीज अमाउंट ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर थैंक यू वेरी मच यू एंजॉयड सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड वी विल जॉइन अप विथ मेनी मोर प्रॉब्लम्स टू सॉल्व